Welcome to a sports news for you news update. Over the entire weekend, three headlines kind of caught my eye. One, yesterday, the U.S. men's soccer team uh, in the World Cup tied with Portugal 2-2 two to two after being down one goal most of the way. Um, <clears throat> they were able to come back and at least tie it. Now they're going to have to play Germany. Um, we'll see what happens there. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty good game. Uh, Definitely didn't want Portugal to score that last goal uh, that really hurt the U.S. But, you know, going forward, we'll see what happens. Uh, a draw is better than a loss, I'd have to say. So, other headlines this weekend from the NBA. Lot, a lot of news from the NBA. First, we're going to start out with the Dallas Mavericks. They're in the hunt for Pau Gasol. Now, whether he leaves L.A. or not, the, last year the only reason why Gasol was going to leave L.A. was because Dwight Howard was there. His touches were getting cut, and he, he wasn't getting the ball as much as he wanted. Well, Howard left, Bryant got injured, and Steve Nash was injured for most of the year, so now he's playing with a bunch of rookies, and the team was resting on his shoulders. So whether he decides to go back. Now, if he went to Dallas, there's also Dirk. He's got to deal with that. That's not a very, you know, I don't really see it happening. Um, but it, it's something to look at. You could start uh, Gasol at 5 and then put Dirk at 4 or vice versa. So... That's always an option. I, I I think I see Pau Gasol staying in L.A. just because now it's kind of a younger team. Uh, he's you know they've gotten some very good prospects coming up. Like you know you know they they've built some really good basketball players. And and Kendall Marshall he was going down to the end of the NBA and then you know he was going to the D League and then the next week he was starting for the Lakers. They've definitely done a lot with him. He's become a very nice player. Um, and Jody Meeks, he's been playing extremely well. He's been able to hit shots. He's looking great. Um, Ryan Kelly, he's you know he, he's a younger guy. He, he can shoot. He's got a nice shot. Came out of Duke. Uh, knows a lot about you know playing with other people managing the floor so I think it's a good a good place for Gasol to stay now the story that tops all of the other stories Carmelo Anthony is going to be a free agent this shocked me just a little bit um, you know the Knicks were spending all that money trying to boost the uh, the front office and trying to make things better a, a better place that Carmelo might want to stay but he, he decides to opt out knew he was never going to win a championship in New York never now some of the places that have opened up he, he can go to Houston. I think that is a great place for him to go. Chicago is in the running, I'd say. Um, Miami, not much in the running. I don't really think he would go to uh, Miami. But Chicago, I think, is a very viable option because you've got Mike Dunleavy. He's, if Melo goes to Chicago, Mike is probably going to retire. Kirk Heinrich is getting on up there. But and you, and you have Joe Kim Noah in his prime. And then you've got a bunch of extremely young guards just coming out of college, junior college pretty much. So you know you're going to get a lot of shots. And that's where Carmelo is very good. He, you know, he likes shooting a lot. And then you know that you're going to have Joe Kim Noah in the post to pass it to if you ever get in trouble. 
I think one thing that really killed Chicago was turnovers. And if you have Joe Kim Noah taking the ball up, you know, if you have him trying to dribble the ball and pass the ball around the perimeter, you're going to lose every game. If Joe Kim Noah is your main ball handler, you're in, you're in for some pretty big trouble. So, Chicago, very good option. Um, I can see him going to both teams. I can see him going to Houston or Chicago. Both of those, uh, I think, would be very good organizations. And I think both of those really need just another guy that can shoot, another guy that can produce. So, we'll see what happens. Carmelo Anthony is going to be the Dwight Howard this summer, a guy that we're all going to be waiting to see what happens. It'll probably take some time. Um, offers are going to start rolling in. Um, we'll be covering those in the future. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful day.